Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. This week I'm going to cover a Mac app that was suggested by Screencast Online member Greg Wilkinson. Now Greg mentioned this several weeks ago and I've been using it ever since. The app is called SlidePad and it emulates the slide over panel on the iPad, allowing you to access some of your most used web applications as well as any documents, PDFs and other file types. SlidePad is included as part of a setup subscription, but if you haven't got a setup subscription, you can purchase SlidePad for just $9.99 from the vendor's website over at slidepad.xyz. So let's take a look at SlidePad. Now I've already installed SlidePad, so I'll demonstrate that to you, but this is it across on Setup. You can see here a section for new arrivals, SlidePad. Uh, they really do a great job in finding these applications and bringing them on board. Of course, you just still pay the standard subscription for Setup and get access to all these different applications. And I was shocked, to be honest, to find that uh, programs even like Pathfinder are now included within a Setup subscription. But even if you don't want to go down the setup route, you can still go across to the vendor's website and you can buy it from over there. Now, this is just a, a quick visual demonstration of what it does. You can have a look at that, but I'm going to go ahead and close Safari down and let's get straight into it. With this installation, I haven't done any configuration or set up any workspaces or documents. Uh, I'll start off by showing you how to manage the window. Uh, to make the window appear, you can either use a global shortcut, a keyboard shortcut, or you can just swipe your mouse to the side of the screen and that will pop the window out to you. Now you can reposition this window if you want, you can resize it. If I make it smaller, it will snap down to the bottom of the screen. I can also drag it to the top corner as well if I want it to appear here, or I can drag it across to the left hand side. And then when I pop it out of the way and I can bring it back, it will pop in from the left. But let's just go ahead and drag it back across to the right hand side. And in fact, what I will do is make it bigger and that will reposition itself. I can make it slightly narrower as well if I want, but we'll just leave it at that size. Now, at the moment, I haven't got anything configured in here, so it won't pop in automatically. I can make it slide away by doing that. There is also a control in the menu bar. I can say slide in and I can slide out as well. But uh, again, I much prefer the gesture, the swipe across to whichever side of the screen it's on. So let's go ahead and install our first sort of workspace. Now, if you have any web applications that you use a lot, this is perfect for having them readily to hand. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.